Hey everyone, I'm Andy Nguyen, lead designer of Industries of Titan here at Brace Yourself Games. Industries of Titan is a cyber industrial city building strategy game that takes place on the surface of Saturn's moon. As the founder of a new city corporation, you've been granted access by the council to extract the vast resources locked away on Titan. To do this, you must expand your workforce, build a city, fight the rebel forces, and defend your corporate assets to become the dominant corporation on Titan. One of the defining differences between Industries of Titan and other city builders is our concept of interior floors. Some buildings are special in that they have internal grids where you can build devices that act as cheaper but less powerful versions of their building counterparts. So for instance, inside your starting headquarters, there's an interior floor where new players can build their first power generator and storage devices. You can also build a dedicated factory building to get more floor space. It's a great way to kickstart your economy before you start unlocking more expensive buildings. On Titan, precious construction materials and technological artifacts are locked away in these massive ruins built by an ancient civilization. What these ruins are and how they got there remains a mystery, but the council demands that you mine them for their valuable resources. As a newly founded corporation, your migrant population will be the backbone of your workforce. Migrants arrive via the spaceport. Once acquired, they'll need a place to live, like these habitat pods inside your factories. From there, you can have them watch ads at your monetization stations to generate income for your corporation. So, if you need more money, acquire more citizens and force them to watch ads for you. While citizens are important, the truly hard labor falls on your employees. They're the ones that salvage ruins, construct buildings, and crew your combat ships. Converting citizens into employees is a simple process of dramatically modifying their body, stripping them of their emotions and their need to sleep. They still require a salary, so make sure that your unconverted citizens are healthy and generating profits. No matter how resourceful you are, you'll eventually have issues with low construction supplies. This is where your resource refinement process comes in. Processors and their connected modules take in raw minerals and isotopes and refine them into exponentially more valuable resources for construction. For example, this residential building costs 200 construction units. That's 200 unrefined raw minerals. If we refine these minerals to tier 2, you would only require 40 of those tier 2 minerals. That's five times the construction value. Repeat this process again for tier 3 minerals, which are 25 times the construction units. It's like turning coal into diamonds. Streamlining the flow of resources and maximizing your refining process will be crucial to your success on Titan. That is, if you can also survive the rebel attacks. When the rebels attack, things can get heated pretty quickly. Ah, a new founder. Did you really think your little startup would escape our notice? Rebels are disenfranchised citizens, enemies of you and the council, and they won't hesitate in destroying all that you've worked for. Turrets are the most straightforward defense, but with rebel encampments spreading across the map and expanding by the minute, you'll want to take the fight to them with your very own shipyard. Once built, dive in and pick a hull. This determines several factors, like hull integrity, floor space, and the maximum weapon slots available. Ships are similar to factory floors, but with several additional devices. You'll need an engine to give your ship movement and a few weapons in order to fight back. But plan carefully. For example, if the enemy destroys your life support and it's blocked off as a result of your device placement, your crew will be unable to repair it and they'll suffocate. Once you've satisfied the requirements for a combat vessel, hit launch and watch your ship take to the skies. And don't hesitate because the rebels are on their way to your city. Just like with factories, you can dive into combat view in order to make strategic decisions based on the enemy ship's layout. Should you take out their power grid so the enemy scrambles to make repairs, or should you target their workers directly? Hit spacebar to pause the action and take all the time you need to plan your moves. 
There's plenty of strategic depth in the combat, and in the late game, you'll likely find yourself managing multiple ships at a time. And that's on top of managing your city. It can get hectic, but that's what it takes to be the most powerful city corporation on Titan. We're very proud of the state of our game, but we're not done yet. We have a lot of plans for Industries of Titan, and we want to make it the best experience possible. There will be many more updates to come, with our biggest priorities focused on adding even more replayability, so every new game provides a more unique experience. So please check out the game when it becomes available on Steam on June 21st. Join our Discord community and help us make Titan the best it can be. Thanks for watching, Founder. We'll be seeing you soon on Titan. Titan. Everyone comes to Titan with a dream. Our moon is one of limitless wealth. There are ancient riches here for those with the strength to claim them. But some dreams start smaller. A better life. More dignity. More comfort. Today, Titan is a place where you can buy those dreams, where anyone can profit. But it isn't easy. You have to prove yourself here. Those who settle here take that risk. And without their diligent labor, our power grid would fail. Pollution would overwhelm us. And our trade would collapse. It's hard work, but on Titan, hard work isn't enough. The bold, the strong, those are the people Titan rewards. Those are the ones who see their dreams through. Exceptional people. Friends to the Council. That is why we're giving you this opportunity, Founder. We expect great things from you. Make sure you live up to our expectations. <laughs>